Good morning, Instagram. When it gets this time of morning, I always want to say like good afternoon or evening, but it's still morning. Um, I am hopping on a little early. I know that I said that I was going to do 10 a.m., but I wanted to give people a chance to log in. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Instagram. I am live in both places. We are going to get started in a couple minutes. Um, if you haven't seen my post, I share that I will be breaking down the, the format of my newest program called The Machine, right? And so I'm gonna break down the format of that really quickly. My, my goal is not to have you here any longer than 30 minutes, and that is including a 20 minute demo workout where all you need is your body, a pair of dumbbells or bottles of water, canned goods, whatever you have. Um, most importantly, a positive attitude, the machine mentality that we're pushing and we're pressing through beyond the burn, beyond the pain. Um, it is the mentality. So we, we train the mind, the body follows. I'm going to give it another minute. If you are here on Instagram or Facebook, if you want to share the video, you also want to drop your email below. Um, I can send you further information. Also, just be in touch. And I'm super excited to share this. I'm bringing it back to my roots, where I started six years ago. Um, and during this quarantine time, it has helped me to remember the grit, the grind, and the beauty about getting back to your roots and just, you know, getting it done, regardless of what it looks like, getting it done. One thing I want to share, and again, just talking, not into the... Um, not into the program just yet, but I want to be clear on this. Um, one of my clients, or a few of my clients have reached out and they get discouraged when they feel like they've fallen off the wagon or they've fallen, you know, they're not hitting their goals. And always remember, whether you're with the machine, whatever, wherever you're coaching, wherever you're going towards, whatever goal you're working towards, consistency is ugly. Consistency is not perfection. Consistency is ups and downs. Consistency is flawed. Uh, consistency is unsure. But what consistency is, is constantly showing up regardless of the surroundings. So regardless of what's going on in the, in the world, regardless of anything, it is showing up for you in the path and in the goal that you've set forth for yourself. So a determined mind is unstoppable as long as you have discipline and direction. And that's what you will learn here with the machine. So it is 10 o'clock folks, and I'm going to break it down. My name is Nadia Cashew. Um, I'm with the Cash Method. And you know, my tagline is, it's a different kind of strong. When I started my fitness journey six years ago, I can't even believe it's six years ago, um, I wasn't out there to lose weight. I wasn't necessarily out there to gain strength. I was out there to find myself, right? I felt like my life was completely out of control and the only thing that I had control over was movement. I could get up in the day and move, whether that be a walk, a jog, one push up, Wherever it was I was at, I could get up and do it. And I got to the point where I was tired of comparing myself to the next person. I found myself endless hours on social media. And as this platform grows, you know, that can be um, can become an addiction, right? We can just be on social media and looking at people reaching their goals and, um, you know, attaining these different things and get in that mindset of why not me? How come not me? Poor me, but great for them. And understand that <clears throat> we're all the same. Um, Nobody is extraordinary than the next person. What that person did in their excellence was they decided every single day to make a small movement towards their goal, right? They adapted the machine mentality. So we can wait for circumstances to be ideal. We can wait, wait till we're comfortable to get back in the gym. You know, we can wait till our life is perfect or we can stop saying one day and say day one and become the machine, adapt that mentality, all right? And so that's what I did six years ago and it started right in my basement, right in my backyard, at the state house if you're in Rhode Island. It started there, right? And so um, I adapted to a plan and I decided to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Um, I stopped focusing on the outside noise and I said, okay, Nadia, if you can only do one push up, that's great. Now your goal is to do two the next time, then three and build on that. Um, and I had, I had that accountability, which is what you're going to get in the machine. So the machine is a six week long program. It is home based. You need little to no equipment. All right. And what, what you can expect with the machine is if you decide to work it backwards, meaning if you're on week six, you're loving it. You want to keep going. Guarantee you will. Um, you can then work the machine backwards and extend the program for 12 weeks. So now you're getting three months of consistent and committed action. That's the goal here, folks. If you're looking to create any type of habit, 
you have to give yourself at least 90 days. You have to give yourself that grace. You have to get that structure and that routine back in. The machine is going to do just that for you. Side note, again, folks, if you're hopping on, please drop your email address. Please share this video, tag someone that could benefit from this, and let's get moving and grooving together, okay? So the machine, you're going, and it's also for all fitness levels. So whether you're, you know, loving your at-home workouts, you are jumping to the sky, you're repping out 50 push-ups, the machine will challenge you. If you are just getting started, if you are just getting off that couch, if you are just mustering up that confidence to even kick it into gear, the machine is for you. Every movement is going to have different levels. So whether you're advanced, again, in, um, in the middle, just beginning, it doesn't matter. My goal is to keep you moving, get you started with moving and keep you moving. Uh, any plan that's worth um, living out is a plan that you can see that's sustainable, right? You don't want to be like, you don't want to feel like you're, you're killing yourself on a diet. I don't coach with counting macros and micros. I coach lifestyle. That's what you will get from a nutritional guide. Um, it's something that you can adapt with your family, right? So, or your, your close circle. Um, if you want to get that accountability in and maybe get some people to join you, you know, you don't have to feel like, okay, oh my goodness, I'm out at a restaurant. Let's plug in, you know, what this fish or salmon or chicken looks like. No, I like to show you how to make every bite count, how to eat nutrition, nutritious and whole foods, how to break bad mental habits when it comes to food relationships, okay? And so one thing is that's big about me is encouragement because I know we all need it and it starts with ourselves. We don't wanna give up on ourselves. If we are sharing and being champions of cherish for other people, then we, we shouldn't be wanting to give up on ourselves. Again, adapting that machine mentality. What you can also look forward to is be, being a part of a specific tribe, those are that are just in the machine, getting that group accountability, building some new relationships, um, and then also getting some inside scoop on recipes. You know, I, I'm always posting my, my green smoothie recipes and that's strictly to help me get more fiber, more greens, more vegetables into my system to help me increase my energy naturally and just feel good, right? And so with the machine, you're going to get discipline, direction, dedication, no excuse mindset is so important and that is what I want to show you with the machine and again, taking it back to my roots. This is where I started. It's where I'm at, right? And with unprecedented, unprecedented times, we don't want to just rely on one thing. If you feel comfortable getting back in the gym, if you want to mix it up, great. However, if you're someone that's maybe still wanting to social distance, still wanting to keep your space, maybe you have anxiety about going into the gym, you don't even know where to begin, the machine is for you, all right? And so I'm so excited to share this with you. Um, it is available, the machine will be starting July 6th. For registration, it is only available until July 5th. I have linked the, the link here, it's in my bio. Um, if you are on Instagram and on Facebook, I have put it in the description on this live. And again, I'm six minutes in. Listen, we have a 20 minute killer workout that we're about to do. Um, and even if you don't have weights, if you have little ones around you, use them as weights. Get the family involved. You know, this is something that you know, I don't want, I don't ever want to um, nutrition, fitness to feel like a third job. You want to get to a point where it is just automatically woven into your life and it be just come, becomes a part of, you know, who you are and what you do because guess what? When you feel good, when you look good, you show up better. It just is what it is, right? And it's important that we take care of our being spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically adapting that machine mentality and what you're going to learn with the machine program is going to help you teach you the skill sets to then approach every pillar of wellness remember wellness is all the way around it's just not one dimension but let's focus on one and then let it start to bleed over into the others you become a different kind of strong and to get that different kind of strong it's a different kind of training and that's what i'm all about so any questions um feel free to drop them below again please drop your email address uh, please share the video, tag someone who this is going to be beneficial for, and let's get started into the workout, okay? Um, so it's going to be 20 minutes, like I said. My goal is not to keep you here long. Um, grab your dumbbells, bottles of water, canned goods, your body. If that, that's all you have, that's okay. Positive attitude. I have some small music playing in the background. We're going to warm up. Um, my warm up each move is going to be 45 seconds long, okay? And then we're gonna go right into the next one. We're gonna do it twice and then we're gonna get into a circuit that we will do twice. Um, and then we'll have a TKO round. So it's called the total cash out round. It's just a round to just really 
hit, put, uh, hit the nail over the head, making sure that we are just exerting everything that we have, giving max effort, burning max calories, and getting to it, okay? So let me just make sure that you can see me. I'm gonna move my phone so that Instagram can see me, excuse me. One man band here, and then Facebook is good. Okay, so if you are joining me for your workouts, okay, make sure you have your water close to you. We're gonna get warmed up. I'm just gonna get my timer here. I'm also gonna put on my my zone belt. I use a, a belt to help me um, gauge my workouts. And then we're gonna get started. Thank you so much as I'm putting this on. Thank you so much for hopping on. You know, time is something that we can never get back. And so I definitely wanna honor and cherish the, the, the time that you're spending with me to hear my heart, to hear what I'm offering, and to coach you. I know that you're gonna sign up. So first move, we're going to go into seal jacks. I'm also going to try to keep doing the modified versions as well because I want you to know it doesn't matter where you're at, the movement is yours, your body is yours. Honor that, step into your greatness, right? We don't have to be great to start, but we have to start to be great. And so just know that, don't get discouraged, this is for you too. Our first movement is seal jacks, all right? So we're gonna go into seal jacks for 45 seconds. Alrighty, let's do it. And so seal jacks is here, but when you wanna be kinder on your knees, all you're doing is you're just stepping it out, right? You're taking away the hop. That's your seal jack. We're going 45 seconds here with an active warm up. We're warming up our joints. We're getting our bodies ready to put it through the machine, adapting that mentality. We have 25 seconds. Really good job. Really good job. Here we go. <clears throat> 15 seconds here. Good work. If you are watching the replay, get it done. Make sure you are dropping your email down in five, four, three, two, one. Our next exercise is called the Superman. So we're gonna bring it down onto our mat. Or if you have a towel, doesn't matter. You're gonna be on your belly. All right, we're gonna be straight out. Legs are straight, arms are straight. And at the same time, we're going to lift our legs and our arms together, working our glutes, our lower back, so it's almost like we're trying to fly like Superman. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds. Let's work it. You're going slow and controlled. If you cannot lift your legs and your hands up at the same time, all you're gonna do is lift your upper body up, keeping everything flat against the ground. So a modified version looks like this. All right, keeping it up. Nice flow and control. These should not be fast. You should feel it right in the small of your back. All right, squeezing your glutes, hips are pressed to the floor. Now, if we're doing it full, feet and legs are going up at the same time. Slight pause, slight squeeze, right back down. Good job, good work. We got 10 seconds here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, good. <clears throat> Our next move, quickly forgot here. We're going to go into shoulder press. So we're working shoulder press with our body weight. All right, so your starting position with the shoulder press is here. You're bringing that right up, touching the ceiling, right back down, all right? You should feel it. When it comes to shoulders, not much to get them activated, okay? We're gonna be right here. No modification needed. The only thing is if you get tired of standing or maybe your knees are bothering you, you can do this right from a seat. You can sit down and press it up and down, okay? We got 20 more seconds. Good job, good work. Remember, it doesn't matter where you're at, the machine will challenge you and make you dig deep. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going into high knees, all right? Goal is getting those knees all the way up, right? So that chest, that's what we wanna focus on. Now, if you wanna take away the hip, be kinder on those knees, you're here. I still want you to focus on getting that knee nice and high, but all we're doing is just taking out the hip, okay? Nice and easy, and again, as you're doing the machine, you are going to see all these moves demoed out for you. There's gonna be no guessing as far as what a modification looks like. Alrighty, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're bringing it right back to the top. Right back to the top of that warm up. So you're going back into seal jacks, okay? Going right back into seal jacks. 
job. Bridge, sit it up. Nice work. Don't lose your core. Your core is still nice and tight. In this, when you're coming down, make sure your back is fully on that mat. There should be no space between your back and the mat. Good work here. We are halfway through. Keep going. Bridge, sit up. Bridge, sit up. Good job. Good work. Keep it going. You got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Good work. Our next move, we are going into mountain climbers. I believe yes, mountain climbers. So nice and easy body weight, high plank, driving those knees. Okay, if mountain climbs is too much, stay into the plank position. If the plank gets too much, go on your knees. I'll show you and hold the plank there. Alrighty, we're going for 50 seconds. Let's do it. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Nice high plank, driving those knees. So you're here, okay? If you need to slow it down, still want to do a full movement, you're here. If the movement gets too challenging, you're here. If that gets too challenging, you're here. You're holding it. You're not losing your core. Your core is tight. You're squeezing your glutes, okay? And trust me, this is a workout too. And remember, wherever your body is, wherever your start point is, you honor that. You start right there. But what you don't do is not start, right? You want to get started. Here we go. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Push. 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 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Breathe. Good work. Here we go. We are our fourth movement, alternating snatch. That sounds fancy, but it's good. We're going to be alternate. What does the snatch look like? All right, you're going to bring it down into a squat, one dumbbell. Opposite hand can be out for balance. You're going to bring it here. Snatching it right up over your head. And then when you come down, you're gonna switch hands. If the squat's too much, don't you worry. You're still doing this. You're just gonna be right here. And you're gonna snatch it right up. All right? So it's an upright row and you're flipping it right over into overhead. If that gets too much, again, told you, I got you. You're right here. And you're working a weighted shoulder press. All righty? So no excuse, right? No excuse mindset. We are working in five, four, three, Two, let's do it. Alternating snatches. Right up over that head, back down. Right up over that head, back down. Good work. There you go. I wish I could see you guys, but I know that you're working, right? Because we are the machine. It's a mentality. The choice is yours. We are in control. Trust me, we already have what we need to succeed. We just gotta get started and allow the journey to reveal our greatness. Because no one said it would be easy, but you'll get it if you stick with it. Consistent and committed. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. I got one more move. And then we're repeating the entire thing. How's everyone doing? Good job, everyone. All right, if you're just joining in, please drop your email below, share the video, encourage someone to hop on and listen. We are getting a demo workout in. All right, so our last move is alternating reverse lunges with a pulse. What does that look like, you say? All right, so you're gonna be here. You're gonna reverse lunge with a pulse, bring it together. All right, and then you are going to switch sides. I'm sorry, there's a curl. So you're going to pulse your lunge, come up, you're going to curl it, and then you're going to switch sides. Pulse, come up, curl it. Now, if lunges are too much, again, you want to be kind to your knees. What you're going to do is you're going to separate the move. So in the machine, these circuits, you'll be doing them four times. So what you're going to do is for the first part, you're gonna be doing donkey kicks on the wall. All right, when 25 seconds hits, you're gonna switch, go halfway. And then what would happen is, the next round, you're just gonna curl it out. 
okay? So if you're someone that you want to be kind to your knees, you struggle with lunges, that's okay. Start with the donkey kicks. I'll let you know when we're 25 seconds in to switch to the other side, and then the next round that we do, I want you to just do your curls. Alrighty? And then we're working in five, four, three, two. All right. Let's do it, champions. So reverse lunge, pulse it out, come up, hammer curl, and then switch that leg. Good job. Good work. There you go. Nice and easy. You got it. In about 10 seconds, if you're doing those donkey kicks, you're gonna switch legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch those legs if you're in that donkey kick. If you're not, you're staying with this move. All right, we are rocking it out for another 20 seconds. Keep it going. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and three. Now, that's pretty much a sample of a circuit, okay? And then what you would do is once you complete all those circuits with little to no break, depending on where you're at, 10 to 15 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds in between each exercise, you're gonna break for a full minute, then you're gonna repeat it again. Now remember, in the full workout, you're doing this four rounds at least, okay? We're becoming the machine. We're pushing past mental blocks and we're getting it done in the comfort of our own, in our own home. No excuses. So grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna repeat that circuit one more time. Then we'll go in a TKO round, which is gonna be uh, geared towards cardio. Then we're done. All right, we're done. We got about five minutes. We may go over just a little bit. I apologize. A lot of talking here. We're gonna get in the second round. Five, four, second round, three, two, remember hammer curl to a lateral, hammer curl to a lateral, let's do it, hammer curl, lateral, hammer curl, good job, good work, good work, you know when we start something, we have the beauty of creation, right, we start to rewrite our story, we refuse to accept what was old, and we work on the new, by what we do in our present, the machine mentality. Let's go, let's go, you got it. We got 20 seconds here. Good work, good work, good job. Each rep counts, each set counts. When you start to feel the burn, that's when true work begins. That's when true physical transformation happens. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down on your back. Back down on your mat. We're going into those bridge sit-ups. Those bridge sit-ups in five, four, three, two. Let's do it. Come on. I do encourage singing when you're working out. I encourage dancing. I encourage anything that could allow you to feel a little bit of silly and be unapologetically you. No judgment. We are getting it done on the journey of discovering our strength physically and inwardly. Listen, we are becoming the machine. A machine doesn't care about what's going on in the outside world. A machine performs its job day in and day out unapologetically. That is us. We are becoming the machine. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Flipping it over, going into those long timers. I told you the second round is going to go fairly quickly because we know what's going on. And that's how the machine's gonna be. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one. Working those mountain climbers. Here we go. A hack about me. I do not like anything that's on the floor. Mountain climbers, plank ups, shoulder taps, plank reach. It is my arch nemesis, but just because I don't like it doesn't mean that I I can not do it. Still gotta get it done. We still gotta work. We still gotta show up. We still gotta do what we need to do to become who we need to become and be. Let's go. 15 seconds. Keep it working. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Good, good work. 
What do I have next? Can't remember. Alternating snatch. I am dripping. I hope you're enjoying this workout. Let's go. Let's go. Alternating snatch. Let's work it. In five, four, three, two. Let's do it. Right up. And you're switching. Remember the modification. If you want to be hanging on those knees, you're right here. And you are switching up top. That gets too much. Or shoulder pressing. Alrighty, you got this. Ain't nothing to it. What to do it? You are stronger than you give yourself credit for. I know it. I believe in you. No one's ever told you that. You got it. Keep going. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good work. Now, if you did the donkey kicks the first round, I want you to do those hammer curls. All right, so you're gonna just curl it this round. If you do the full move, we're doing it again. Alrighty, five, four, three, two. Let's do it. Come on, champions. Let's go. Reverse lunge with a pulse. Stand up, curl it up. Reverse lunge with a pulse. Stand up, curl it up. Good job. We are 15 seconds in. Guess what? Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Does anyone consider this fun? I do. I love connecting with you people. I love sweating. I love putting myself through the torture. Great, great. It's different. Different kind of strong. Let's go. We got it. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Good work. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, good. Grab some water, like I said. You would do this four times. We're gonna go into our TKO round. Not total knockout, total cash out. We're giving it all we got. We're at 10.30, so we're going to do two rounds. I originally had five, we're gonna do two. First round, 30 seconds of burpees, 10 seconds break, 30 seconds of um, sprints. All right, if burpees is too much, stick to that sprint and do two rounds. And we're working in five, four, three, two, 30 seconds, burpee it out. Let's go, 30 seconds. Let's go, we're working it. Keep going. Remember, we did four rounds, and then for this TKO, it would have been 10. But for time, we are gonna cut it to be respectful. Let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, going into sprints, four, three, two, sprint it out. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds. Good job, keep going. 15, 15, push. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was a quick 20 minute circuit, a demo from the machine. Remember, link in bio. Please share this video. Drop your email address so that I can contact you. Link is in my bio, link is on Facebook. Get registered. It is only up for a limited amount of time and I am so excited to coach you guys. Thank you for joining in. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to coaching you. Take care, stretch and drink lots of water. Good work, Instagram. <clears throat>